She's known in Africa for her dancing and choreography, something she's been doing for more than half a century. And now, despite being in her 70s, Germaine Cogni still wants to keep going, especially when it comes to teaching traditional Sengalese moves. At 73 years old, Germaine Akoni is known for mixing West African moves with modern touches. She is the founder of dance school École des Sables in a remote fishing village in Senegal, passing on her techniques to young performers from across the world. My plus grande influence my greatest influence have been the patrimonial and traditional dances of my country. That's what guided me and that's my influence. They're my roots and that is what is at my base, because if you don't know where you come from, you will not go far. Her moves have surpassed borders and reached to an international scale. She has won a New York Dance and Performance Bassie Award. She's preparing to go on tour in the United States and Europe. And Senegal's capital city, Dakar's French Institute, dedicated their Kaifek festival to her this year. They think she's a national treasure. Elle a supposition le Senegal comme un endroit où she knew how to position Senegal as a place where dance is made on a certain scale. It's a source of pride for us. We go out of Senegal and we hear about Germaine Agony. We speak the companies she founded of the École de Sable. That's why we're so proud. Born in Benin and raised in Senegal, Agony's dance talks about colonialism. It's rooted in nature, using the sun and moon as her guide. She's a role model to her students and aspiring dancers. Germaine for, moi, c unique. Germaine, for me, is an icon. She's a big personality. Because what she was able to build here with her husband is really big. It is unique here in Africa that there is this space for African dancers. Through dark and powerful moves, the African dance tradition lives on.